Okay, so in this video, we will use the mean value theorem to prove that ln of 12 minus ln of 5 is larger than 7 on 12, but smaller than 7 on 5. So to see how we can go about this, let's just look at the conclusion of the mean value theorem. And the conclusion is that f of b minus f of a over b minus a will equal to the derivative of f at some point c, where c, of course, lies between a and b. And the two assumptions are that f is continuous on the interval from a to b and differentiable inside of the interval. So the only question is, if we're going to use the mean value theorem, what is the choice of a, the choice of b, and the choice of the function? Well, if we look here, we have ln of 12 minus ln of 5. This looks a whole lot like the numerator of the left-hand side of our equality. So the function seems to be quite simply ln of x. And the value of a seems to be 5 and the value of b seems to be 12. So what we have right now is a guess. It seems that this is the choice of function, the choice of a, the choice of b. Let's now apply the mean value theorem in this special case and see if we can obtain the desired conclusion. Well, we will need the derivative. The derivative of ln of x is of course 1 over x. And so the derivative of f at c replacing x by c will be simply 1 over c. If we visualize our interval, a is 5, b is 12, and we don't know too much about c except that it lies somewhere between a and b, therefore it lies somewhere between 5 and 12. So c is larger than 5, but smaller than 12. Let's now plug in to this equality, this special case. So f of b, ln of 12, minus f of a, ln of 5, over b minus a, 12 minus 5, and this will equal the derivative of the function at c, which is simply 1 over c. Well, let's simplify this by simply noticing that 12 minus 5 is 7. So we have that the ln of 12 minus the ln of 5 over 7 is equal to c, to 1 over c, sorry. And now we can have an upper and lower bound for c if we simply invert across both inequalities. If 5 is less than c, then 1 over c, 1 over 5, is bigger than 1 over c. And as c is less than 12, 1 over c will be bigger than 1 over 12. But now, we have an inequality, or I should say an upper bound and a lower bound for 1 over c, but 1 over c is equal to this. So whatever is true of 1 over c is also true of this expression. So we can replace in here 1 over c by ln of 12 minus ln of 5 over 7. And I will of course rewrite this in the more natural direction, which will be that 1 over 12 is less than 1 over c, which in turn is less than 1 over 5. And now I make the substitution, replacing 1 over c by this expression. So what I have now is that the ln of 12 minus the ln of 5 over 7 is less than 1 over 5, but larger than 1 over 12. As said then, it's a positive integer. I can multiply across both inequalities, and this will preserve the direction of the inequalities. 
So I will have on the left 7 over 12 is less than, if I multiply this by 7, the over 7 goes away. So we're left with ln of 12 minus ln of 5 will be less than 7 times 1 over 5, 7 over 5. So the conclusion is that ln of 12 minus ln of 5 is larger than 7 on 12, but smaller than 7 on 5. And if we go back up, this was exactly what we hoped to prove using, of course, the mean value theorem. And that's it.